What you're seeing here is two who is slot die coating lead iodide layer. This is the two layer approach where you first apply the, the lead halide and afterwards the methyl ammonium iodide. And then you subsequently grow the perovskite layer over time. And the advantage of the mini roll coat in this context is of course that, of course that you can um, uh, leave the layer there, uh, leave the, should we say, the uh, layer of excess methyl ammonium iodide and the lead halide while the crystals grow at a given temperature. And you'll notice that all the processing is done here in a fume cupboard uh, and under ambient conditions. There's an advantage in having a machine that is dedicated to processing one type of materials or, or where we limit the use of one type of materials to only one of the processing machines, especially in the case of the lead-based perovskites, where uh, at least in a country like Denmark or you know, probably most of Europe, where there is some regulations as to the use of soluble lead compounds, lead-2 compounds. And there, by only using one mineral coder for, for lead uh, processing, we know where the eventual spill or possible spillages can be, uh, and we can somehow guarantee operator safety on, on other machines. So um, there is an advantage in, in dedicating one machine to, to certain processing steps. Okay, so now we are getting ready to coat the second uh, part of the uh, perovskite photoactive layer, which is the methyl um, ammonium iodide layer. And um, it's a slot die coated on top of the lead iodide. Um, and the two will react and form the perovskite photoactive layer. So, so as you see, this. Uh, Brownish color is a completed perovskite protective layer. The, the MAI, the metal ammonium iodide in itself, is colorless, but when it reacts with the lead iodide, it becomes just this brownish color. This is a so, this is a so called two step process uh, where we coat the two components of uh, the perovskite in two consecutive steps. Slot by coating. I'll just go back to coat the second line. Here you see on the on the left you see the lead iodide yellow line, and on the right you see the completed perovskite uh, photoactive layer, brownish color. And to complete the solar cell stack, uh, we need to apply a, a, a slot by coated layer of P3HT as a bulk transport layer, and then. Uh, a thin layer of P.PSS on top of that before we can print our electrode. Underneath our lead iodide, we have a TT and ITO, and then we have a, a layer of zinc oxide. So it's a, in terms of an OPV, it's an inverted geometry. Uh, 